Hello, 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 what's up? It's uh, Toast, Red Toast to be exact, uh, here, and I'm playing some Rocket League. I, uh, I want to start a channel talking about Rocket League, different tactics, uh, strategies you can utilize in the game, and that's basically what this channel is going to be dedicated to. Um, also going over uh, gameplay that I'll put up, uh, analyzing that. Professional Rocket League player Gibbs, if you pay him 20 bucks, he'll uh, analyze a video of yours. I analyze mine for free, so I mean, I guess it's kind of the same thing. Uh, first things first, uh, with this wonderful, wonderful game, you're going to want to work on the settings. The settings are the most important part of this game. Actually, that's a lie, but they're pretty, they're pretty important. Go into options on the main menu. Um, so gameplay, there's not going to be anything here too important unless you play split screen definitely keep horizontal split screen off because you want it to be vertical you want to be able to see what's above you and whatnot um camera this is where the big big difference is gonna make is gonna be made camera shake that's i believe on default that's on you want to turn that off the camera field of view this allows you to see more if it's up higher i think by default it's somewhere in the 80s 90s maybe you want to put it all the way up to 110 Camera distance, you want that to be at about 330. That's the ideal, the ideal distance. Uh, some people uh, might think that's too far, and a lot of people don't like it initially. But it opens up the game a lot more. You're able to see more, and you get you get used to it. Camera height and camera angle are really subjective. Uh, that can be your own thing. Um, the next big, uh, the big thing would be. If you're playing on PC, you can um, adjust this. I play on 62 frames per second. A lot of people I know want to max it out at 140. <laughs> if you can, if you can afford a monitor that supports 144 frames per second, do it. But 62 for me is perfect. Um, then I keep my motion blur and weather effects off. Um, the weather, the motion blur, it just kind of, it just kind of adds one of those things like. It adds intensity to the game at the rate of, at the cost of like not giving you as good, um, you know, a, a slightly less advantage. And weather effects, if you're playing on a rainy map, snow, whatever, um, it turns that off, but only for you. And I believe this is a great, um, this is a great benefit. Uh, if you're playing without the rain, it honestly does help you. I mean. Play a couple games with the rain, and then go out without the rain, then put it back on. You'll be able to tell, like, you will you play better without the rain. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Chat, if you want to be an asshole, you can just make everything what a save. But, I mean, that's, that's you. That's all you. <laughs> Alright, and then next we're going to talk about cars. Mm -mm. The car that you want to go with is the Dominus, the Octane, or the breakout if i can find it there it is right next to the dominus um these are what i consider the three best cars every car is different they have different stats they're very minuscule but they all do have different stats um you know um the dominus it's a nice flat car uh good hitbox good turn radius but if you play with something like the octane it's another car with um a great hitbox a uh, good aerial car, but those are the three cars that you see the most that you play uh, That you see people play with the most a close fourth would be the Merc just because of its insane hitbox It is a big car a lot of defense of uh, defensive type players play with it I've I've picked it up once and it was only to get an achievement um, The Dominus GT there are import bodies that if you get a crate Which you get from winning games um, Oh another thing I just want to mention the first couple videos are going to be pretty basic, so, you know, if you're an elite, elite rocket player, maybe you don't get anything from this, from these uh, videos, but, I mean, they're pretty fun, I think. Uh, but, if you're an intermediate, even a really good player, I think you can pick some stuff up, but you might want to skip the first couple of videos. Uh, they won't be, they won't be very, very helpful to you. Um, crates you get from winning games, and in a crate, there's a bunch of different things. <clears throat> There's um, a bunch of different cars, but they're just like uh, they're the they're the same car, but with a different kind of twist to it. Like this is a Dominus, this is a Dominus GT. 
It has the same hitbox, all the same stats. It just looks a little bit cooler. Uh, I I prefer the uh, the base car. I don't like the import bodies as much, but that's just my personal preference. There's no difference though. <sighs> um, and then your these don't matter at all. Your decals, your wheels, your any of these trails, these don't matter. Um, next. That's, that covers a lot of it for uh, this section. And then when you get at it, next next video we'll talk about, next video we'll start talking about some basics like shooting, you know, safe blocking shots, those kinds of things. Alright, it's been real. See you next time, guys.